Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says an example of a disproportionation reaction is. Here we have four reactions. Students, in case of disproportionation reaction, same elements oxidizes as well as reduces. If I consider the second reaction, here we have CuBr. It is converting to CuBr2 and Cu. The oxidation state here is plus 1. Here the oxidation state of copper is plus 2. Here the oxidation state of copper is 0. So, this copper is being oxidized as well as reduced. Hence, it is showing disproportionation reaction. Therefore, the correct answer for this question will be option 2. Now, let us move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says, the major product of the following reaction is... We have this reaction. First of all, it reacts with CrO3. So, oxidation of this OH will take place to carboxylic acid. Then we have SOCl2 and then it is heated. So, in the last step, we will get an acyl halide and after that, we will get the electrophilic substitution at the para position of OH group. Let us write the reaction. Here we have OH at this position. How many carbons will be there? Let us count. We will have 1, 2, 3 carbons and then OH. So, 1, 2, 3 carbons and then OH. So, with CrO3, it will be oxidized to carboxylic acid. Here we have OH. CWH. On reaction with SOCl2, this OH will be replaced by chlorine. And we will get COCl. Now, on heating, it will give us the electrophilic substitution. So, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 membered ring here. Here we have OH. and carbonyl will be present here. Now, let us go through the options to find the right answer. We can see here substitution at para position and 5 membered ring. So, the correct answer is given in option 2. Hence, the correct answer for this question will be option 2. Now, let us move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says an organic compound A is oxidized with Na2O2 followed by boiling with HNO3. The resultant solution is then treated with ammonium molybdate to yield a yellow precipitate. Based on above observation, the element present in the given compound is the options are fluoride or fluorine, nitrogen, phosphorus or sulfur. Students, if I talk about yellow precipitate with ammonium molybdate, it is ammonium phosphomolybdate. Hence, the organic compound must have phosphorus in it. Therefore, the right answer for this question will be option 3. Now, let us move to the next question.